Well, it's a loose wire. It was on, but here we go. Let's try this again. So we have probably a thousand people protesting here. And why are they outside SCOE? Well, SCOE has financial oversight for the district, and so they're hoping to make an impact. They said, you know what? The district has a record reserve fund over $123 million, and the time to act is right now. And that's why today they were making a bunch of noise. And they're chanting another day longer, another day stronger. This is day two. The union taking to the picket lines for the second time in three years, this time over pay increases, health and safety protocols, and staffing shortages. They say the district is not negotiated in good faith and that more than a quarter of the students in the district do not have a regular teacher for instruction, while nearly 600 independent study students have never had a teacher this school year. They need more staff and say the district hasn't done enough to bring people in fast enough. Jobs are posted. They stay posted. They're not following through on that end to get those people who are interested in, you know, being teachers in our classroom or support staff in our classroom into the actual classroom. We need, we need that. Our students need that. They deserve that. Bus drivers, we work hard every day, doubling, tripling up routes, sometimes having to pick up kids an hour and a half late because we just can't retain our staff. You got to be here over a decade. It's very hard to believe to see how this decline has happened so fast. And we're not asking for a lot. We're just asking for equal pay. We're just asking for raises. Help us out. On the table, all sorts of benefits and bonus packages, the amount that they pay into their health insurance. It's complicated for sure, but at the end of the day, having 40,000 students out of class is a major disruptor, and that's what they're hoping to do is get the attention of the district. Now, the district said that they've asked to meet with SCTA and that they have declined to do so, at least so far. That was yesterday, last night, into this morning. The same is being said right now. I just got a text from a representative for the school district who's saying, look, we are ready to come to the table. How soon will this all happen? That's the key. It's Thursday. Is this going to go another day? Is it going to go into the weekend? If it goes into next week, wow, that's a long time for a lot of students to be out of school. And we'll see if that's what it takes to bring both parties to the table.